As a developer, I often find myself needing to store data in a relational database. I'd really like to let someone else worry about the management of the database architecture, and I'd like it to scale easily without worsening performance. I know Cloud Spanner is a great solution for scalability, but I don't have a lot of data and my application generates a fairly low amount of requests at the moment. I've heard that Spanner is only for really large use cases, like storing YouTube data. I'm concerned that Spanner may be too much for my workload. If this sounds like you, the Google Cloud Spanner team is happy to introduce granular instance sizing. Now you can use Spanner from a much smaller starting point and at a lower cost. Cloud Spanner is a great choice for any application that requires availability and strong consistency without losing out on performance. As a managed cloud native database, Spanner provides high availability by managing additional copies of your data called replicas. Replicas ensure data is persisted and requests will continue to work seamlessly without downtime and without the need for you to manage complicated architectures. As a horizontally scaling relational database, Spanner is able to guarantee strong consistency of your data by utilizing ACID transactions and leveraging a distributed clock called TrueTime to guarantee ordering of commits even across geographic locations. This consistency is critical to prevent unexpected data discrepancies. As one example, imagine two players of a game making a trade. Consistency is needed to guarantee the first player gets the money and the second gets the item. Spanner also allows you to easily scale up as your workload grows without requiring you to manage complex sharding. One way Spanner is able to support the scalability is by separating compute and storage. When you create a Spanner instance, up until now, you specify the instance size in terms of nodes. Nodes determine how much compute and storage you have access to. It does not impact the availability guarantees of Spanner or the number of replicas your instance has. A single node provides enough compute capacity for up to 10,000 reads per second or up to 2,000 writes per second. You also get storage capacity for four terabytes of data. This compute and storage capacity might be too much for many applications, and this over-provisioning may have caused application teams to hesitate to choose Spanner despite the great benefits of the database solution. With the release of granular instance sizing, it is now easier than ever and more cost-efficient to start using Spanner. Granular instance sizing introduces a new unit called processing units. 1,000 processing units is the equivalent of a single node. When you create a new instance, you can either specify the size as a number of nodes or a number of processing units. You can size your instance as low as 100 processing units or one-tenth the storage and compute capacity of a single node at one-tenth the cost. Granular instance sizing lets you get started with Spanner starting at $65 a month. For example, now your team can get started with test and dev instances that don't need the full compute capacity a single node provides. You can size the instances for the amount of compute capacity you need. If your capacity needs start to grow, Spanner makes it easy to scale up without downtime to your users. Scaling up can be done incrementally to avoid over-provisioning your Spanner resources. Granular instance sizing allows your team to get the incredible features of Spanner, including strong consistency, high availability, and scalability without overpaying for unused resources. So go ahead and provision your Spanner instance with granular instance sizing.